Hello everyone, you are welcome to the Lover Studios. This is a part 4 of our Excel tutorial. Now we'll talk about the formula. Let's see how to calculate in Excel. Now we have the data of my students, the scores they had in each subject of the last exam they took. But now I want to have the aggregate, the sum. Call it total, total. Now, first person is John. I want to know the total, the total sum of John. For you to use a formula, we have the formula bar up here. You can as well insert your formulas over there or you can insert it from here, it reflects in the formula bar. Let's insert it from the cell. Before you use any formula, you use the equals sign. There is an automatic way whereby you can add this sum. We have a tab here called AutoSum. This will sum up the aggregated data you want to calculate. But now, I pick on sum, it sums it up. Once you click on sum, sorry for that, you can see and the highlighted portion telling you that the U is this the range of data you want to add together. That's from C4 to K4, which is from math to chemistry. Yes, that is what we actually want to have together. But if you need to add something different, you highlight a separate portion. But that is just exactly what we want to sum together. So with sum, you can type this and click this range. I will show you the two steps where you can do it. This is the automatic way. Once you click enter on this, it sums up the whole work. It sums it up. But now you can do the manual aspect, which is equals to sum. You open bracket. You highlight the portion you want to sum up, which is from C4 to K4. You close your bracket. You enter. Can you see? You're getting the same total value. With the auto sum. Now, instead of you to continue to do this all over again for all your students, can you just click on the first calculated total? This little box right beneath here, you can see your mouse pointer changes to a plus sign. Click on it, drag down. Can you see the total sum of all the students gets calculated automatically? This is saving a lot of calculating time. Let's centerize this data. Cool. We have the total of all students. Now, let me see. Maybe I still have some time left to actually do some. Little, little trick. Let's do the average. We've added the total. Let's now average it based on 100%. The average score, average, average cell, average to area. Cool. Now, we want to have the average score of each student you can come over here don't forget your equals come to this auto sum click on average you can see it's trying to select even the total inclusive which i don't need so instead of us to do this automatically Let's do it manually. 
delete it off use equals to average click on it sorry equals to average so that we'll be able to and do where we want the average to be which is on all the subjects you can as well click on the total but i want to be precise enough so that the calculation will be done by the total of the subjects divided by the number of the subjects offered that's the average the total of uh, a given range of data divided by the numbers of the data counted one after the other not summing up now so can you notice we close our bracket i click enter what did i get i'm getting an average score of 66.3 for john which is quite precise enough now i need to get the scores for others just the same way I did for Toto, I click on the small box bar beneath, I drag them. Can you see? I've gotten the, 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 the average score for each one of them. The average score for each one of them. So, with this little analysis, you should be able to understand perfectly on how to find the Toto and the average cost for any data of any range of data you have it can be your um, uh, a banking data the account details of you know um, the balance sheet you're trying to record or trying to calculate you just quickly add it up you sum up you get the average you subtract you multiply on the fly you do this programmatically you know using the excel worksheet you can do a lot of a lot more you can do almost all rules of board mass. you can use your bracket which that's why you go to ask for precedence that's for precedence you can make your off you can multiply you can divide you can what you can add you can subtract in excel so you are limitless on the mathematical formulas you can use in excel so far you can be able to uh to to to, to formulate them well and let them make sense with the data you're working on. Thank you very much for listening. Catch me up in my next part. We'll be talking more on Excel formulas.